Why would I keep going on a platform that is not supporting its creator? I stopped. That's why you can't see any uploads. I quit. Why have we developed this 430,000 subscriber based community if shit's not going to be shared? Am I going to carry on with YouTube? Is it worth it? That's what I've had to ask myself. You know, a lot of us work on this full time, but it's not safe. We have to have other things going. And that goes for things that you should be doing in your life. Don't get tunnel vision. Don't get blinkered. Start looking at other things. Don't focus so directly on one thing that you miss opportunities in other areas because that's what I've been doing. Everybody goes at least six. Right, before we get into this, I just want to ask, hang in with me for a little bit because I'm probably going to ramble. I was going to script this and write it down so I could be a bit more kind of accurate in my points, but then that's not really going to be me talking and I want to talk from the heart about this because this is something personal to me, important to me. Just stick with me and uh, we'll get through this. So what is this video about? You might have noticed, or more to the point, you might not have noticed, I, I haven't uploaded for the last kind of two weeks. And prior to that, a lot of you weren't seeing any of my uploads at all for the last couple of months. And this has been the prime problem at the moment with um, my channel on YouTube. So for those of you that don't know, I've been running this channel for six plus years now. We're like, we were there from the OG, like fitness days, you know, when there was the, the that original expo, that iconic photo that, lo that kind of launched it. Was, and put me on this path of where I'm at now. So this channel is, is very important to me and it's kind of defined where I went, you guys helped define where I went with this channel and where I went in life. And it's always been me trying to get information out to you guys. Now, over time, what's happened is, is YouTube's become much more of a business platform, kind of the clickbait culture that's going on. I'm not a big fan of that. I just liked creating motivation, creating information and getting that out to you guys because that was what we originated from. And YouTube themselves have really changed the way it's run in terms of visibility of channels. Some of you might not know, but a couple of years ago, YouTube deleted 200 of my videos, just gone in, in four minutes, 200 videos. There was little tag boxes when you're uploading a video now, and they didn't used to have those. So we used to put kind of buzzwords in the description and a bot dictated that 200 of my videos had spam in the description. Nothing wrong with any of the videos, but it wiped out 200 in one go and there was nobody to talk to, zero. YouTube offered me nothing, but no help whatsoever. But I persevered, pushed back. Obviously the channel has grown immensely. It's been amazing seeing the support you guys have shown. And over the last year, we've got over 130,000 new subscribers. So thank you very much for that. But there has been more complications. Last year there was this same thing happened where my channel visibility dropped off this radar and I didn't know why. I actually did a 10,000 calorie challenge video which went viral and that helped relaunch the channel back into the algorithm and it seemed to fix it. And I said to YouTube, I asked them to, to monitor this and why it happened and they said, oh, you know, they went in and there's no glitches there now, it's all been cleared, maybe it was just a problem with the algorithm at the time. But then it happened again three months ago. This is it's like banging my head on a brick wall. Sometimes to make these videos, you can film for one, two days, then you can edit it if it's a, if it's a deep edit, like two to three days to edit and create a video to then put it up online, for then all of a sudden, all that work and all that effort to not be shared with any of you, because YouTube's algorithm is, is now ignores the channel for whatever glitch and purpose. You know what views should be and you know how the channel's run. I've been doing this for six years. It's like getting on, getting in your car that you've owned or that first car you ever owned that was a bit, that was a bit kind of clunky and funky, but you knew the moment there was something wrong with it. When you get in, you started that engine or maybe you got on a bike and you sat on it and it was slightly imbalanced. You feel like you can feel it, but you give it to somebody else and they just look at the thing overall and go, nah, it looks fine. And this is a similar thing that's happened to me with YouTube. Trying to, trying to prove it was really, really hard. And they, they seemed to, they didn't really help me in any way. And last couple of weeks, last few videos, just put, like, they've reached like 20,000 people. And I, we would sit between that kind of 45 to kind of 60 kind of K range. And then obviously we'd have the old fun ones that went up and did a you know, quarter of a million or a million or whatever. No, they're a good video, just full of great information, which is all I want to do. The, the visibility disappeared. The analytics showed it. There was no organic reach on the channel. I complained to YouTube reached out to my content creator manager who we now have, so they have now given us a voice. Um, it's hard to go in and, and tell them without sounding like an egomaniac, look, this is wrong, there's something very, very wrong here. You know, I've, how is a 430,000 subscriber based channel getting 7,000 views on a video overnight in, in one week's difference, going from 40 odd thousand to seven, and they're telling me there's nothing wrong? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I, I lost all motivation to, to make videos 
which is why you haven't seen anything in the last two weeks and what you have seen in the weeks prior was kind of like, I was trying to make videos to fit an algorithm, to fit the algorithm. And that's, that's what annoyed me. I don't want to be doing that. I want to make videos that I love making and I want to make videos that have that are good content and I feel that's what I do and I want that the, the content to be valued and I had to sit and make a decision and when there are other outlets that I can be concentrating on this is the one that takes the most time why when I can put less time into something else and get more back get more interaction get more content out there for more people to see why would I keep going on a platform that is not supporting its creator and I actually went down for a meeting in London with YouTube and it was basically of whether I'm gonna bother carrying on doing this anymore because you have to get to a point where if it th this is out of my control like I can make the I can make great content I can I can be consistent all the time but if if they're gonna ignore a problem where the visibility of the channel isn't isn't there and the videos aren't being shared the, the time and energy I'm putting into into creating that content it, it, it's not worth it because it's not generating back what's necessary to, to make it worthwhile. And I went down for this meeting and the outcome of it was, listen, they're lovely people at YouTube and they seem to want to help, but it, when you're telling them there's something wrong and they just get an engineer to check over something and they just kept saying to me, no, your channel views, your channel views haven't dropped substantially. And I'm sat there going, you see that 50K video followed by a 7K video. They, they don't, they look at things too overall. They don't know the personality of the channel. They don't know the inner workings of it. And they are going to address the situation. They're going to, they have got specialists looking at it to find out what's going on. But as I've seen it so far, um, they kind of, they kind of, they kind of brushing me off. And they keep saying your channel views are the same because yeah, overall the channel might be getting the views that it still gets, but it's getting views on videos that are two to three years old that fit the algorithm. And one of the things that came out of that whole um, meeting with YouTube was that I have to, and I quote this, I have to make videos, I have to not make them concentrate on speaking to my viewers, you, my subscribers, the people that have helped me get to where I wanna be. I have to make videos that speak to the algorithm. What? How is this how is this helping a platform if I have to make videos that chase an ever-changing algorithm rather than my viewers or the people that subscribe to me? Why have we developed this 430,000 subscriber based community if shit's not going to be shared? I had relentless amounts of, of messages from you guys, especially when I put it out there, telling me that you weren't seeing videos, weren't being notified. Um, you, some of you were coming on the channel going, holy shit, there's, there's five, ten videos here I've not even seen, I didn't even know you were still uploading, and you're subbed to the channel. And I, honestly guys, I, I, I lost all will to want to do YouTube anymore. I stopped. That's why you've not seen any uploads. I quit. I, 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 I'd had enough. I had to sit down and, and, and talk through everything with people around me about what to do and how to move forward. Am I gonna carry on with YouTube? Is it worth it? That's what I've had to ask myself. If I quit, if I just stop right now, I don't just let me down, I guess I let you guys down. If you don't fight for something that you love, if you if you quit, even, even if there's shit, every fucking odds against you, but if you know you're good at something, you know that what you're doing is good, if it's worthwhile, you can't quit. You can't just stop. And I did. I quit those two weeks. I, I was done. I, I, it's taken me 12 hours to even make this video. I had no motivation to do it because I sat there thinking, well, if I'm done, I'm done. Why make the video? And I'm not done. I don't feel like we're done here. And I kind of put this vibe out on, um, on my Instagram stories and I was saying that and, and talking about maybe I concentrate more on Instagram and would people want to do more videos on here than YouTube. All I've got from you guys is message after message about how some of the videos that you've come and watched, whether you started f following me six years ago or six minutes ago, that they have helped you shape something in your life for the better. They've helped you turn something around, they've helped giving you motivation. It was you guys, it was you guys that literally made me rethink my decision, made me want to start fighting back. So here's what we're gonna do. Fuck YouTube, fuck making 
videos that chase a goddamn algorithm. We're going back fucking old school. We're going back to teaching, we're going back to motivation, and we're going back to lifestyle integration of how you can take this training mentality. You can take this one to change something for you, in your life for the better, and you can implement that through everything that you do by focusing on one part of it and getting good at it. You can see how that can spread into the rest of your life. And I will not be beaten by a fucking computer sprite. Make sure that you have your push notifications turned on. A lot of you are saying that you won't be notified of uploads. Once you click that bell for the uploads on the channel here, you need to select to be notified when there's an upload. Then you will miss nothing. And then if there are still problems with the channel, it helps me prove it and show it to YouTube. And then they can't deny us. But we won't be denied anyway because we're not going to rely on it. It's going to be you and me. Everything that I'm talking about now, links will be below for you to find. I'm going to be uploading a minimum of three videos a week. You're going to get videos on a Tuesday, a Thursday, and a Sunday, minimum. Two of those will be training based, one will be a vlog. The vlog will be an encompass of the seven days that have gone by, so they'll be fun, they'll be fast paced, and they'll keep you interested, plus they'll still have some food and lifestyle side of things. We're going to start the podcast, and I've said I was going to do this a long time ago. I was just getting smashed from a lot of angles. And Again, I, I'll admit it, I quit a little bit on that front. I didn't, I didn't hunker down and get that shit done. But that's what's going to happen. Every Monday, there will be a podcast release, a crew cast, named by you. One of you guys came in and named that for me. There will be a crew cast every single Monday for you guys to tune in. And we're going to be covering, it's, it's going to be me sat talking about a subject. When I can get people in to talk with me, I will. So when I've got some of the boys over, some of the crew over, I'm travelling. I will sit down and do podcasts with those people as well. And things that are going on that I think are a good, good thing to talk about. Monday Motivations, crew cast that will be happening starting this fucking Monday. Also, I'm going to be blogging on the Gymshark website. So there's going to be a blog there at least once every two weeks, but hopefully week to week. So the first one has gone live already. Again, link will be in the description for you below. And that one is going to be giving away £100 Gymshark voucher. Now, it's already live. All you have to do is go onto the blog Read through it and then leave your short-term and long-term goals in the comments section of that blog and you win with a chance to win a £100 voucher. The winner will be picked today. So I've put this video up a little bit earlier if you guys are going to have a chance to read that. It's a blog on motivation, some home truths and what to expect and how to remain focused and stay motivated and not get kicked in the nuts. Second part will be up next week, but this is the one where you can win that £100 voucher. Every week, three videos. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Crewcast on a Monday. Plus... If there's other videos I'm going to make those weeks, they will also be put in alongside the three standards that you're going to see. So you could get more than three videos a week, but you'll definitely get at least three. There's more. When all this kicked off, I, I'm going to, I, I got a little bit depressed. I sat down, I mooched and I sat in my own little depression like, My row is me. The world is horrible. Oh, I can't go on. Then I simply... And sucked it up and I set myself some goals because that's when I work to my best. When I have a focus, when I have goals and when I've got shit going on that uh, makes me get out of bed. I started a style of new training which is focusing on compound movements. Now I've never really deadlifted properly. I just never really liked the idea of doing them. So I didn't do them, never got good at them. So I've dedicated myself to getting better at the compounds. Bench, squat, overhead press and deadlifts. I am taking you guys through from the bare bullshit basic shittiness that I am now to how I'm going to improve and get better. I'm into my fourth week of deadlifting. Yesterday, I just hit 200 kilograms on a deadlift on my final heavy lift building up to that weight. So it wasn't a max attempt. So I'm super happy with the way I'm going forward now and I'm going to be taking you guys along that journey with me. What I'm also going to try and do is create a weekly download for you guys so it'll structure my training and you'll be able to download my training for that week so you guys can follow along. This is in its infancy at the moment but it's my base for what I want to do next and that is a Tough Mudder race, then a white collar boxing match. For those two events, I want them to be charity based events, I want us to raise money, I want us to come together Create a buzz, create some fun around those things and raise some money for some good causes. Let's put a bit of fucking good out into the world. Let's put some positivity out into the world. Let's fuck the algorithm and let's share something because it provides love and it provides happiness for others. And then once we've done that, I am then going to diet after that boxing match 
and do a show towards the end of the year. And I'm doing that because I want to show you guys that you can do something that doesn't just involve you lifting weights, that doesn't just involve you being inside the four walls of a gym. So to show that you can create that dream physique, that goal physique that you often only see on stage, but it can be a physique that's also healthy, that also improves your lifestyle, that improves your social ability. So you're not this kind of angry bodybuilder with the hood up in the gym on your own lonesome selfish sport. No, it's not about that. I want to show that you can be integrated into, into teams, into groups, into doing things outside of the gym that will benefit you, not only socially, but with your health, and it'll make you fitter. And the fitter you are, the healthier you are, both mentally and physically, the longer everything will last, and the better you'll be, both in the way you look and the way you feel. And that's what I want people to take from this channel. And that series will launch in the next couple of weeks once I've arranged everything with Tough Mudder, with the boxing gyms that I'm gonna be working with, and then obviously once I've decided what show I will be doing. So we will have something that has substance, that has a goal set, that has a start, a middle, and an end, and something that you guys can join in with me directly. And in some of them, literally side by side, we will run, we will battle, we will fight and we will work as a team and we'll have fun doing it and raise some fucking money for charity and create some good in this world. So, let's, let's fight for what we love and it's fighting for you. It's not fighting for this channel, it's not fighting for YouTube, it's me giving back to you guys. Not giving up on you guys because you didn't give up on me. So, I'm sorry there hasn't been uploads for the last few weeks. I'm sorry that I allowed myself to become such a little bitch about this. I actually feel better now that I'm able to express this and open this up to, to you guys so you know what's been going on and where I'm at and what's gonna be happening. Let's wipe the slate clean. Let's start a fresh page. I'll see you guys for the first crew cast, the first consistent crew cast on Monday and the next video that you will see from this point will be Tuesday followed by Thursday followed by Sunday and that'll be every single week. So until then, so expect to see more of this. Some of this. And maybe this guy. So fuck chasing the algorithm. From me to you, thank you. Thank you for all the support. I will not give up on you. I will not give up on us. So until then, I'm Lex. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button. Show some love. I'll see you in the next video. We start fresh next week. I'm out. Who's got my back now? When are we